hello everybody and welcome back to the channel what i'm going to do right now is show you guys um, in a few videos ago when we're building waterways doing dump truck with the rocks and excavator and all of that this is where all that rock was laid for this waterway here um, and as you can see it has rock all through it um, and it's got enough dirt in there that there should be a good amount of grass come up through this too and that creates a really nice um, yeah, path for the water to run down without causing any damage um, but that is pretty well done we just need to find more rock which will come obviously as we do more developing but um, yeah to extend that all the way down to the boundary there but it is um, yeah it's we've got a couple of waterways already that are like this and it works really well um, as opposed to just an uncontrolled waterway where it's just naturally grassed up, a big gush of rains come through because there's no rock in the soil, it just gets deeper, 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 and then you end up with those five metre gullies. So that's when it's uncontrolled and just left to its own devices. So we wanna we wanna get away from that. Well, we've got Brad here on Tiny 3. Um, looks like yeah, doing a bit of work here with the waterway. There was just an uncontrolled waterway here, which is obviously um, yeah, eaten out fairly deep. So we'll get out, have a bit of a listen. Looks like um, JD's on the excavator down there doing a bit of work down the bottom end of that waterway. And Phil's, Phil's somewhere, he must be over the hill. I get a good bit of sound from that that keeps everyone that just loves listening to the things a bit more happy and then I'll uh, yeah when I throw the drone up it just doesn't quite have to be as complicated so we'll see oh yeah there's there's Phil over there he's in the rocks so this dirt you can't really see on camera very well but because it is just black dirt um, it is very um, pug, no, it's puggy or sticky or whatever, I don't know, whatever the right word is, but it is just hard pushing. So once it gets a bit of moisture in there, it just sort of wants to stick together and it is hard. So, um, yeah, they're not just sitting in a rock quarry pushing, you know, pushing a bit of rock here and there. It is just constant hard work in some of these conditions. So, um, yeah, they're definitely doing a good job.
So, uh, I better go actually do some work, but if you're wondering what the difference is, or how can you tell the difference between Tiny 1 and Tiny 3, well, Tiny 3 is the budget model, so it's, it's just the budget D11. It doesn't have a balcony, and Tiny 1 is the deluxe version, and it's got a wraparound balcony around the cab, so um, that's the best way to tell the difference. Now, on a serious note, the reason they do have the balconies on them, or walkways, is here um, in the mines, just a safety thing, so you basically can't fall off them, so whether it's your, yeah, need to walk around to, yeah, check something, do something, or whatever, they've just got that there. It's been another few days of a just boringness, I guess. Um, it's not a word, but you get what I mean. Uh, I've just been on the weed it. The only excitement really is because we haven't actually run the weed it here at the development block, um, we're finding all the contours that are a little bit too sharp or a bit deep or this or that. Um, because we can't control the boom on the weed it and lift it up and down, um, yeah, you just gotta go very gingerly, sometimes straddle the bank a bit, just because those wing tips there are, um, yeah, they can dig in and then you fold your, yeah, boom back which holds your nozzles and then the nozzles aren't straight and then it doesn't hit the weeds properly so you just yeah got to be very very careful I'm taking it very steady usually we're doing about 14 and a half k's with the weed it but I'm down to about 10 11 maybe if I'm feeling game um, but we did also get quite a bit of rain here um, and I thought I would show you some of these new contours that we um, or that Phil did a little while ago um, and yeah, you can see here that even we had a quite a big downpour. I think it was about 50 mil one day and 100 mil the next in a fairly short amount of time. And we can see here that it's or well, the contours have worked um, beautifully. And they were only oh maybe looks like from that straw there that they probably were only maybe half a meter deep of water, which is still a lot of water. But um, yeah, there was still plenty left in the bank. Um, and we can also see that we must have had a bit of wild wind because all the canola stalks are blown over or you can see they're all leaning one way so that's a little alarming um, but I've got Robbo on the job he's on the grader um, on one of the next paddocks I'm going to be going to there was a bit of a washout it's actually one of the small paddocks where we haven't um, done the proper contour redone it all sort of situation so we're, that'll probably be next year's job um, we'll be planning a crop in uh, in a few months obviously so we can't do anything there and there's other work that we need to do so yeah that's basically we'll need to level out all the contours that are there um, and start again and then um, yeah then we're pretty well after after that we've we've nearly done the whole development block with contours and all of that so it's um yeah it's really coming along so here's another contour, fairly sizable. It has eaten a little bit away, but you can see it's right on the limit um, of, just try not to make sure I don't wreck anything here. It's right on the limit of, um, which is good, where you can see it's actually washing, the, the water's getting, getting away all right, but it's not um, hanging up anywhere, building up with silt. So I've explained it a few times, but it's, um, yeah, I don't know which video or when or whatever. I don't even know what I've said. But if the contours have a bit of a low spot, this is why the GPS is so important. Um, if they have one little low spot, the silt all settles in that low spot and then it'll build up, um, the, the silt builds up, creates a bit of a dam effect and then the water will wash over the top of the contour. Once that happens, it's just a domino effect. You'll have a heap of water wash out over the top of one contour bank, run straight down the paddock and go to the next contour bank, which will overload that and then, or fill that up with silt and then, yeah, you just, it's not pretty. So we can see here on this contour bank, um, Robbo's actually just gonna come and tidy this off. Um, I think it rained before he got to finish grading this off, but you can see here, I'll slow right down, that yeah, there is a bit of a layer of silt there, but it's not building up. And, but it also hasn't eroded it away and there's no wet spots. So it is, um, yeah, perfect job really. So, and they're a nice sizable bank that we're not struggling, um, yeah, with machines to get over it or yeah, all of that sort of stuff. So, 
Um, all in all, really good job. But what I'll do is I'll send the drone up in a little bit um, once Robbo's going on, on the grader and I love a good slow-mo on the grader so I'll try and get a bit of that and um, yeah I just the, the weed it is um, yeah I, I've filmed that enough recently so it's probably not that exciting. I'll throw the earmuffs on, listen to some podcasts and I'll try not to fold up the boom like a banana. That is that is goal number one. That's another day done. Um, yeah, everything seems seemingly going well so far. We have been quite concerned, obviously, with this weed at um, with all these contour banks and different things, just how it's going to pan out. Um, but I haven't, fingers crossed, I haven't damaged it yet. Um, and yeah, I think we we're going to be going through probably and doing a second run with it as a double knock. So um, anyway, I guess by that stage we should well and truly know whether we're going to have any issues. Um, using the weed it down here so but um, yeah I think it's just one of those things it's really good to use it at the minute because we've got some bigger weeds um, but it's not everywhere so you sort of have to up have a fairly hot brew to get the big weeds but you don't want to necessarily put that over your whole block because um, yeah well 600 what 610 hectares or something um, yeah that'll, it soon adds up so I think we're working on maybe it's a smidgen above uh, 10% maybe. So yeah, still we're in a, in a good range. That's prob probably a fairly ideal range. So all good. Right, well, we'll leave the video there, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Um, who knows what we'll be doing in the next one, but we'll catch you then.